In the words of Bob Marley, <laughs> we be jamming. It's spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, and what better way to wake up your taste buds after a long winter's nap than to smash into spring. A smash is a cocktail template that dates back as far as 1862. Actually, even earlier, decades earlier. The first printed recipe can be found in Jerry Thomas's Bartender's Guide. It's closely related to a mint julep, but the difference between the two is, uh, well, a julep stirs its mint with alcohol and sugar, whereas a smash muddles and shakes it with the inclusion of fruit. This recipe I'm going to share with you today shakes up the concept by using jam in place of the sugar and seasonal fruit. Like spring, which is a time of rebirth, renewal, and awakening, this cocktail is rejuvenating. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's make one. This is a gin smash. Right? Um, a lot of smashes, well, really, you can use any spirit of your choice. But it's springtime, so that's why I'm using gin. I'm gonna use two ounces of gin. That's two ounces. There we go. We're gonna follow that up with some Aperol. I love Aperol in the springtime. <laughs> they should write a song about that, Aperol in the springtime. Half an ounce. You could go a little more too, and that would not deter this drink by any means. Um, but that's good, I like the color. We're gonna follow that up with some lemon. And this is so easy. I've got three nice little wedges here, right? I'm just going to uh, cut those, drop them in our glass. And we're gonna muddle. Where's my muddler? Muddler! Where the hell is it? You mean this? God, what the hell are you doing with my muddler? Give me that. I'm swiping my shit now. Okay, get in here and muddle. Yeah, muddle. muddle. Muddling's actually kind of fun. You get your, you get your aggressions out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like when you broke the glass on the Kuiperlin. Ah, yeah. Next thing we want to do is just muddle. You want to get all that sugar and that lime. Just muddling. <laughs> muddle like an Olympic star, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, there's a Jesus <laughs> Don't muddle that hard. <laughs> I don't know how the hell that happened. Okay, that's good enough. We're gonna follow that with mint. Mint is, you know, kind of like traditionally what you use in a smash in, in, a, in a mint julep. You don't have to use mint. You could actually uh, use fresh basil. That would be really good in a smash, no question. Any kind of uh, herb you could use. Okay, what do I got here anyway? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go with six. Six mint leaves. Now, you also don't have to muddle this. You could just shake it up and that would do the trick. It really would. But I like muddling. <laughs> I do, it's fun, you know? It gives you time to think. And you wanna be real gentle if you're gonna muddle that mint. Okay, let's add some ice. And shake it. <laughs> shake it like it's the first day of spring. And you just woke up like Rip Van Winkle. And going, what the f where, where are you going with this? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. You know what we forgot? 
Holy f uh, We forgot the jam! Oh, no jam! <laughs> How can you make this cocktail without the jam? What the hell? <laughs> ah, heck. I've got some strawberry jam. And you know, this is such a wonderful time. Strawberries aren't growing yet, but this is the perfect way to um, use up the, the last dredges of your jam. And you don't have to limit it to just strawberry. I mean, if you got blueberry jam, that kind of idea, that would work too. I've got a tablespoon into the mix goes. Same with the mint. You know, if your mint is all wilty in the fridge, it's a perfect time to use it in this kind of drink. Okay, let's do this again. Ha! <laughs> Shake it! <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, it does. A lot of times you'll find uh, a smash typically goes into like a rock glass, right? It's spring. I want something tall and refreshing. Let's ice this up. Fresh ice. Perfect. And we're just gonna fine strain into this wonderful chilled Collins style glass. Look at the color, isn't that beautiful? It's definitely spring forward. Oh yeah, baby. Get all that goodness. Lovely, lovely to be me. Okay, we're gonna top this up with like an ounce of soda water. Perfect. Gonna give it a gentle stir. Very gentle. And we're just gonna garnish, I guess, with some mint. A little mint sprig here. Mm -hmm. Cha -cha. How beautiful is that? <laughs> That's just crying out. <laughs> Spring. Okay. Mint on the nose just <laughs> wakes you up. <laughs> Holy crap, yeah, that's beautiful. It's like the morning dew on the grassy knoll. <sighs> that is absolutely delightful. And I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna say it. Refreshing as hell. This is good. Mm -hmm. Mint on your nose wakes up your senses. Then, the first sip welcomes you to spring with the delicious taste of sweet strawberries and the tang of fresh lemon. The herbal flavors, citrus and spices from the gin, and the slightly bitter orange and rhubarb taste of the Aperol perfectly complement the strawberry jam. Spring is here, <laughs> thank God. So grab hold of it and make this bright tasting cocktail. It's an absolute delight. It's a smash. It's like a morning dew on a nolly grass. <laughs> on a noly grass? No, no, no. It's like what? It's a grassy knoll, but it's not noly oh, yeah. grass. What's <laughs> noly grass? grass? <laughs> it's all noly. It's like the morning dew on the knoll. The grassy, grassy knoll. knoll. Okay. It's. <laughs> yeah, you're standing up already. Just turn to me. Just wiping the bar down. Oh, yeah. Making her all nice and shiny. <laughs> Shiny like this cocktail. <laughs> I'm not sure this cocktail is shiny, but it certainly is refreshing and perfect 
for springtime sipping. <laughs> you need to hit the subscribe button, check the other videos out, and make this delightful, refreshing springtime cocktail smash into spring. Hmm.